Now, I know it's not a secret, but guys, the 2024 Ford F-150 with a Whipple is probably the best performance deal on the planet. Let's go over it, see how much it'll cost you, and who you can get these deals from. What's up guys, hope you're having a good day. We're gonna discuss the 2024 F-150 Whipple sleeper packages that a lot of the dealerships are starting to offer across the country. And it's just an insane deal. I'm not joking when I say this, I'm thinking about getting rid of the Mustang Dark Horse for one of these because one it's a truck there's utility two i've never actually had one before and three the thing has a whipple with a warranty and then if i want to go crazier i can so let me just play a clip of what friendly ford and crosby texas what their capabilities are when it comes to custom ordering one of these and you got to think too before we play this you can order any of these vehicles from any of the dealerships that offer it around the country and just pay like you could probably negotiate a thousand dollar shipping to your house or a pickup location you can probably negotiate a thousand dollar shipping um maybe two max but probably a thousand bucks so it's not even that much more money on top of your loan or if you're paying cash uh, to ship it but let's go ahead and play a clip of everything that friendly ford in Crosby, Texas, can offer you if you want more than just the Whipple. We do it all. We do it all. You know, painted emblems, the mirrors, door handles, you know, smoke tail lights, splitters, body kits. You know, when it comes to performance, the supercharger installs, the leather, the interior, the carpet, suspension, wheels, tires, exhaust. You know, if you want Borla, if you want Corsa, if you want a different brand. I, one big thing that I did forget to mention, and, I'm, and good thing I remembered, is uh, we've lately, in high demand, long tube headers. So high flow cats, long tube headers, installed by Velocity with warranty. Highly recommended when you supercharge a truck too, so that way they don't get plugged up and, and get back pressure to the motor. Now with the high flow cats, with all that, you know, horsepower and performance and pressure, it, it's, I, we highly recommend it, and we also do it here with warranty. So, you know, supercharger, you know, long tube headers, catalytic converters, performance cats, and, uh, and the exhaust of your liking. So here at Friendly Ford, we do it all. So that's absolutely crazy, right? They do it all in under warranty. Dealers are starting to get smart. Now, dealers have also been doing performance modifications with warranty and stuff for many, many years, but they're starting to expand. High flow cats, the EPA doesn't care about that as long as it's there's a catalytic converter on there. That's pretty nuts. And it comes with a warranty still. It doesn't void that warranty. That's absolutely fantastic when it comes to that. Now, whether this transfers to where your local Ford dealership is remains to be seen and I haven't contacted them to get more information on that but I would imagine usually when you buy a brand new vehicle from somewhere else the warranty is the warranty and it still stands no matter where you are you are covered so I mean it would be a good question to ask if you're seriously considering getting a vehicle very custom made from uh, Crosby Ford um, I'm thinking about it, but there's another dealership that we're going to talk about too and kind of talk about overall the prices and what you can expect for these custom made vehicles. So without further ado, let's go to Crosby's uh, website and just kind of look at what they have to offer and we can talk about it. So here we go. We have an F-150 uh, single cab, of course, like they were showing in the video, 2024, brand new, uh, $4,000 in, I believe that's customer cash. Or no, retail customer cash. Yeah, four thousand dollars cash back. So it's forty-one. It'll be like forty-one thousand one hundred seventy bucks for anyone that's going to be purchasing this vehicle. Now, they they are offering the supercharger package, and just with some little research that I've seen, uh, the supercharger costs around thirteen thousand dollars. Now that's installed. So you add thirteen thousand plus forty-one seventy. You're looking at what fifty-four one seventy, right? Am I doing the math right? I believe so. 54170 is the total price for the supercharger on here. And guys, another thing that's worth mentioning too, and I know a lot of people have been talking about it, is the interior, although somewhat bare bones, you still have power windows, 
the the 2024 has come with all the screens so you got screens for the odometer uh basically a digital display you've got your regular basic stuff on the wheel and whatnot you make sure you get the four-wheel drive because this truck will rip in four-wheel drive that's what these f-150s with boost are, are known for and then you've got a giant display i think it's like 12 inches it might be even a little over 12 inches the display in the center console is absolutely huge and it comes with everything um, here's a better there's a better picture of showing you how big that display is so while you have cloth interior or if you want to swap out the seats you can always go aftermarket you know because uh, you're going to be adding a lot of aftermarket bits if you're truly you know wanting to customize this truck um, you can add it either to your loan or in cash you know right to the dealership or you can do it by yourself and do it piece by piece i don't know if you're like me but i like to build stuff slowly over time to make it my own um, I'm okay with buying a bare bones truck and or vehicle and then kind of adding on to it as I go um, because you save money in the beginning with the monthly payments and then you know just buy what you can afford as you move forward with your vehicle uh, as you customize it so um, I mean honestly it's pretty it's a pretty crazy good interior I mean I, I've heard that the cloth seats are actually pretty comfortable you could go leather if you want to again you could do aftermarket seats that weigh even less you can do Corbo Braum or just eBay cheap crap right but um, it'll be lighter so your truck will be even quicker because it's lighter because these trucks weigh around 45 4600 pounds um, so but it, it's a it's a pretty good deal overall and the fact that Crosby uh, we'll add exhaust. We'll add headers. Oh, I should say catback exhaust and headers. Um, they'll do any of the painted packages. Like if you want to paint the bumper, have everything black and matched, uh, they'll do that for you. They'll do a, a bunch of different things. Um, and I do believe that they have um, more of these in stock. If you look at the inventory, they've got more single cabs in stock. So you just go to the trim, go to XL. Um, and here you go. You can just you can just buy. Let's make sure we put a 5.0 here. They have a six cylinder, and then we want we want four wheel drive. Oh, they're all four wheel drive. See, they know what they're doing. Like you can buy some of these that already have some stuff done to them that isn't whippled. So if you want to go the opposite direction and say, hey, I just want to you know get uh, some performance modifications on here, like those wheels and tires. Um, I think this is just all interior here. You, you can do that too. You can do performance modifications just wheels and tires and maybe slap on the Whipple later. Um, that's something you can certainly do. Let's see here. As we look through, there's the one we were looking at. Um, here's more wheels and tires. Uh, I don't think they have an exhaust on there. Now, there is one on here that's interesting to me. And I'm not, it's this one. Okay. So I'm not sure why this one's so expensive. I mean, there's a lot done to this vehicle and I get that, but it might have the full whole nine yards on it the uh, it clearly has an exhaust and those aren't cheap it's paint matched on the front bumper and the rear bumper you can see that right there it's paint match it's got wheels and tires it's got nitto triple r2s which are like i think it was like 400 400 dollars a tire 450 a tire so i mean that makes sense right it's expensive uh again they've paint matched everything they it looks like they've tinted the windows uh on the rear and the back um they probably has headers on it and obviously it has the whipple on it um it's lowered that costs money right so i still don't think that's correct i don't i don't think that price is 100 percent correct but maybe it is maybe it is uh because the whipple is 13k uh 13k out of 34 another extra twenty one thousand dollars. yeah i don't think that's 100 percent right um they weren't showing this just a couple days ago so that's kind of interesting to me but we'll just uh just for a good example though of what you can get done to the vehicle other than what the video shows and what they're selling they are absolutely doing it so um, let's go ahead and watch a dyno video of a Whipple F-150 and see what kind of power it makes all right so as far as the truck goes obviously being a 2024 stock exhaust cat back so completely stock engine other than the three liter whipple this does have the 3.75 pulley on it not the 3.875 uh pump 93 pretty simple so i don't have my camera on but the first pull did 656 549 and then he throws octane booster in it um and makes two more pulls but we'll go ahead and go to the final one here 
The final numbers for the last poll is 667 and 558. So what's interesting is, is the card didn't really need Octane Booster. The 93 Octane in it was pretty good. Um, now, I will say I will link for the Ford Crosby video and this video in the description down below for you guys to check out uh, if you wanted to see more information regarding it. But, um, yeah, th these trucks make very good power, very good power. They put it in rear drive mode um, to do the rear wheels, and they make very good power. Um, you add headers to this, and it's probably making almost 700. Um, you could also add high flow filter. That would probably help too, or a better, like, cold air intake, so to speak, uh, filter system. Um, you can probably pull it down even more and do E30 and make like 750. You're probably getting close to 750 at that point. So there's quite a bit you can do. And then of course, upgrade the driveline and stuff as well. So one last thing, let's go to another dealership and see what they offer. So Lebanon Ford, a lot of people are aware of who these guys are. They've been doing performance stuff on their vehicles and selling them as kits for a very long time now. And they're based out of Ohio, which isn't very far from me. I live on the east border of indiana so you know i could order one of these and go pick it up uh but here's their inventory and so you guys can get an idea of how much it would cost you um i think personally now this is just personal opinion i think black is the best you saw what the black looked like in the original video in the beginning of this it looked insane so they have two black ones at thirty-eight thousand one hundred fifty-five because they're giving you a two thousand dollar discount Okay, that's great. So thirty-eight one fifty-five. Now I think some of these are a little bit more expensive because they have, um, I think they have a better interior, right? They can do leather instead of uh, cloth. And there's another equipment package that adds a little bit more stuff. But honestly, a bare bones truck gives you everything you need. Now, if we go to the performance upgrades, this is where you can see how much everything would cost you. So thirty-eight one fifty-five. Keep that in mind. All right. So we're in their performance section. Uh, the LFP sleeper package pricing options below. Now, Roush is going to be coming out with their supercharger for the F-150. But here's the Whipple. It's $13,000 plus the cost of a new F-150. You get the, in this case, it'd be a Gen 6. It's not a Gen 5. And you'll probably be producing, I think it's 725 horsepower and 600 foot pound of torque. Um, but the main thing is, is you do get a three-year warranty. You do get a three-year warranty. Uh, with it so it's a really good deal now i know what you're thinking if you've been reading that in the red uh you don't have to worry about this anymore but it i will read this just for you know just for clarification due to the prolonged delay in the mission certification process for the 2024 model f-150 we have temporary pause taking orders and processing deposits until the certification process has been completed by our performance partners they have been They've actually been completed for a very long time. So Lebanon just hasn't updated this in a while, and I'm sure they're taking sleeper trucks um, for the 2024s. I, I can guarantee you that. I mean, you can call them and ask them, but Whipple has had their stuff taken care of for quite a while now. Um, so this, this shouldn't apply anymore. But you can also go to the upgrade section of the F-150, the common upgrades, uh, and they'll show you so you can do the intake system exhaust you could do the bill oil uh, pump get, well in the 2024 it's belt driven so I think you could just do the billet um, crank sprocket I, I don't even know if that's even needed to be honest with you you got exhaust upgrades obviously they'll do suspension and stuff like that so pretty cool but let's go back to the cost of the Whipple plus the car the base one right so it was like thirty eight thousand dollars plus thirteen thousand it comes to fifty one thousand one hundred fifty five dollars for the truck just slap a Whipple on it and then take care of the rest yourself. Get the wheels and tires, get the suspension upgrades, get the exhaust. Do that solely over time. But just Whipple and base truck, black, $51,000 is just insane. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Is this a no-brainer, right? It's a no-brainer. I, I feel like it's a no-brainer. I do. It just doesn't make sense to me not to do this. Um, it's super cheap. You can add what you want. It's cheaper than any, pretty much any boosted vehicle that you can buy or buying a vehicle and then boosting it. I mean, I guess you could get a base Mustang and do the same thing and they do offer that as well. But I don't know. The truck, they're the new GTRs nowadays. With the four wheel drive, the Whipple trucks or the booster trucks, you've seen the twin turbos. They're the new GTRs of America, honestly. It's the American GTR. 
So just let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Should I get rid of my Dark Horse for one of these and just get a Mustang later on? Because we are going to be getting a different vehicle, well, a work vehicle, which this would be the one, but we'll need two vehicles. We will be getting a new vehicle in the next six to eight months anyway. So if we trade it in, uh, the Dark Horse, for one of these, we're still going to be getting something else. So there you guys have it. That's it with me. I'll see you guys in the next one.